Hello, I'm going to do the daily Capricorn energy for uh, Friday, February 26th. And this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with you. I'm going to do Lenormand because I love my Lenormand cards. Change it up. So I felt like doing Lenormand today. All right. Also, you have the power to change my life by liking, subscribing, and watching my video all the way through. And I greatly appreciate all of your support. Okay. We've got the dice. We have the bridges. We have the ship. Oh, we have the flowers. We have the tower. We have the man. We have the woman. The storks and the book. I feel like you and your partner are going through a different difficult time. The two of you are separated. Like the two of you, it could be physically or it could just be emotionally that you're separated. Like the two of you are not seeing eye to eye on something because we've got the man and then we have the woman. Um, and I, I feel like that represents a couple um, and neither one of them um, in this deck there's two male cards and there's two female cards and one of each has poses like this and then the other two have flowers in their hand and I feel like that represents a, uh, <coughs> like a positive um, re like a relationship but I feel that It does relate to a relationship because there is a man and a woman here, but you're both thinking about things. You're both looking in the same direction, and we have the tower in the middle, which means that you're going through a difficult time, but we also have the flower, and then we have the stork. It's about rebuilding. We also have the bridges about connecting. I feel like the two of you are not seeing eye to eye on something. You're not connecting on something. And I feel like you have to, we have the book which represents knowledge, so it's about learning things. I feel like the two of you are not communicating. I feel that the two of you are sort of in your own corners, whether it's mentally or physically, you're separated and you're not talking and you're like, I don't want to talk about it, I don't want to deal with it, but I feel like you have to take a chance. And you have to roll that dice and you have to take that chance and you have to connect that bridge and you have to move forward because you can't stay where it is that you are right now because this isn't working for you, okay? Um, neither one of you is happy. You're thinking about things. I, I almost feel like one of you is thinking about leaving um, or maybe both of you are thinking about leaving and you're at that kind of crossroads in your relationship. You're like, well, do we stay together or do we not? But I feel like I feel like if you just communicate and you just talk, you know, you bridge that gap that's that that big void that's between you, which I'm I'm looking at right there, that if you do that, if you take that chance, that I feel like you can rebuild this. And as always, I'm not telling you what you need to do. I'm just getting what I feel from I'm just saying what I feel from these cards and I feel like the two of you want to work that out but I feel like one of you has to make that <laughs> first step you know one of you has to say let's communicate let's work this out listening to your inner voice I feel like your inner voice is telling you, yeah, I need to, I want to stay with this person. Or that's what I'm feeling. I feel like your inner voice is telling you your answer, but that's what you have to listen to. And I feel like maybe that's what you're trying to not listen to. You're tired. You've been through a lot. Um... This has been a difficult situation for you and it's exhausting you. 
Yeah, tower breakup. That's exactly what I felt. Um, we have the tower, which the tower represents something was built on a false foundation, but it also represents rebuilding a relationship with a stronger foundation. Um, so it's a lot for you to think about here. You know, it's a it's a breakup. Did you? That could represent that you just recently broke up, that the two of you were separated. Um, or like I said, I feel like one of you feels like you want to break up. Um, so that's definitely was the energy that I was getting with this. So for the flowers, all right, moving forward. For the tower, okay, so it's, that's the tower and that's the tower. Yeah, the two of you are just fighting and you're arguing and you're going back and forth. Or maybe this represents you going back and forth. Like, do I rebuild this? Do I move forward? Do I move on without this person? You know, do I work on this relationship? Um, justice, balance, coming together, compromise, working things out. I feel, I feel like this represents Capricorn. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like this represents you and this is the other person. Um, I feel like you want to compromise. I feel like you want to work this out. We have two sides coming together with the sun meeting here. I feel like you, you, you want to work this out. All right, and then we have the emperor. The other person could be an Aries. Um, the emperor represents somebody what's, what, that knows what they want, knows where they want to go, is clear in their decisions. Um, maybe that's the other person is an Aries. I feel like you do have clarity in your decision, though, because I feel like you're listening to your other voice and you're... Your inner voice gives you the clarity. All right, Knight of Swords. We have got the birds building that nest that represents springtime or I, or I feel that it represents three months from now. Um, it's gonna take some time to work these things out but I feel like once the two of you decide that you, if you wanna rebuild, that it will go quickly. And it's about getting past a difficult situation. Um, finding that strength, moving forward. Let's get a romance angel. I feel like you have to make a decision either way because I feel like this is exhausting you. And it's almost like, okay, I need to find an answer one way or another. But I feel like you're feeling more that you want to work things out and that you want to move forward. I kind of feel like you both do. But I feel like the both of you have to sit down and really talk about things and get past this this tower moment and then start rebuilding make the efforts okay that's exactly what I was feeling is you have to make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take listening to that inner voice that's basically what this reading is about is listening to your inner voice and what do you feel guided to do and whatever that is you have to make the effort and it says great love is worth taking the steps okay I feel like you are connected to this other person. I feel like you want to work this out, but I feel like maybe you're overthinking the situation. And I feel like the two of you just have to sit down and work things out, you know? Um, retreat, yeah, it's time to disconnect from the world. I feel like maybe you have a lot of other people involved in this relationship that are giving their opinions. And I feel like the two of you need to ha have clarity and to find that clarity where the two of you just ret retreat and the two of you talk about it and the two of you, you know, work it out and the two of you figure out what it is that you want to do so that the both of you can have clarity because I feel like the both of you are sort of stuck and neither one of you really wants to move forward until you figure this out. And then we have trust. This situation is calling for, for you to have faith. Um, 
and you have to you ha you have to trust that things you know that they're going to work out the way that they're supposed to like this will either make you stronger and bringing you closer together or it'll give you your answers and on whether or not you know in which direction you need to move forward with um, but I definitely feel like it's something that that you need to, to work on let me see yeah and you have to believe that you deserve love and you have to put the work in for this um, to find that clarity all right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.